a warm welcome to all the students so today we are going to learn one more chapter of social studies and the name of this chapter is the southern plateau so students do you know what does the word plateau means plateau is a landform which is higher than the plain but they are flat at the top and they are also called as stable land okay because they look like table Okay, so in this chapter, we will learn regarding the division of the plateau region of India, geographical extent and physical features, and the states located in the southern plateau. Okay, so now let's start. The plateau region, the entire southern peninsula of India, south of the Narmada River, is like a high triangular tableland. The plateau comprises most of the southern part of India, okay, and it rises up to hundred meter in the north and almost one thousand meter in the south, making it a triangular plateau. Okay, now the southern plateau stretches over eight states in India, and which includes most of the central and the southern Indian region. Okay. Now, towards the north lie the Vindhya and the Satpura mountain range. The western and the eastern side are bordered by the western Ghats and the eastern Ghats, respectively. The peninsular plateau can broadly be divided into two parts. So, what are the two parts? The central highlands and the Deccan plateau. So, at first we will learn regarding the central highlands. So, the central highlands lie above the river Narmada. And they are surrounded by the Aravalli Hills in the northwest, the Vindhya Range in the south, and the Chotanagpur Plateau towards the east. Malwa Plateau and Bundelkhand Plateau lie between the Aravalli and Vindhya Ranges. The Chotanagpur Plateau includes states of Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh, and Odisha. Okay, and this region is very rich in minerals. Okay, so the next we will learn regarding the Deccan Plateau. So, the Deccan Plateau includes sections of the state of Andhra Pradesh, Maharashtra, Kerala, Karnataka, Telangana and Tamil Nadu. Okay, and the remains of volcanic lava beds have been found in these areas. As a result, black soil is found in this region and this soil bed may have been formed millions of years ago. Now, students, you know the basalt beds is the dark dense rocks okay, of the Deccan Plateau were created due to a volcanic eruption and which took place over 65 million years ago. Okay, and these are known as the Deccan Trap eruptions and are one of the largest volcanic formation on Earth. Okay, the Deccan Plateau is surrounded by the Western Ghat on the west, the Eastern Ghats on the east and the Nilgiri Hills to the south. And to the northern side of the Deccan Plateau lie the Satpura Range and the Chotanagpur Plateau. Eastern Ghats are a discontinuous range of hills that run parallel to the eastern coastal plains. Okay. Now, discontinuous means what? They are not in a continuous range. So, do you know what does the word range means? Range is a chain of mountain and it is cut by several rivers. On the other hand, western ghats run parallel to the western coastal plain. Now, majority of the rivers in the Deccan Plateau flow from west to east and ends in the Bay of Bengal. Okay, why it happens? Because most of the land in the Deccan Plateau slopes from west to east. Okay, and this region is drained by a number of rivers like Godavari, Krishna, Mahanadi, Kaveri, Tungabhadra, Bhima and Indravati. Okay, but the two major rivers that do not pour into the Bay of Bengal are Tapi and Narmada. Because this river flow westwards and fall into the Arabian Sea. Okay. Most of the rivers of these regions are rain-fed. Rain-fed means it depends on rainwater. Okay. And as a result, irrigation is uneven means it's not equal. The rivers in this region flow at a great speed. Since the landform is uneven, what happens? They form a number of waterfalls. 
So the joke first on the Saravati River in Karnataka is one of the highest waterfalls in India. Now the volcanic black soil is good for cultivation of cotton, millets, oil seeds, tea and coffee. So as we have learned earlier that black soil is found in this region. So this black soil is good for cultivation of crops like cotton, millets, oil seeds, tea and coffee. Okay and beside this red soil is also found in this region and mainly in the parts of Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka and Madhya Pradesh. Okay now the southern plateau receives rainfall during monsoons like from June to October it receives heavy rainfall and from March to June the region experiences a very hot climate okay and with temperature even above 40 degrees celsius means it's very hot okay and the months between november and february experience winter the western ghats include a large number of hills such as cardamom nilgiri chaidri and annamalai and the annamuri mountains in the nilgiri hills is the highest peak of the deccan plateau and its height is 2695 meter Okay, so which is the highest peak of the Tikan Plateau? Annamuri Mountains. Okay, now some of the important cities which fall in this region are Pune, Hyderabad and Bangalore. The forest in this region have a wide variety of flora and fauna means plant life and animal life. Okay, some examples have been given like Nilgai, Blackbird, Cleopard, Boar. Some bird, elephants, spotted deer, etc., are the main animals which are found in this forest. Now, the Deccan Plateau is densely populated. Okay, it means it is very much populated. And this region is rich in minerals like iron, ore, and mica. And gold, diamonds, and other precious metals are found in the Golconda area in Andhra Pradesh. Okay, now regarding tribal, so ancient inhabitants are unique to this region and more than 30 tribes are found here. And this tribe have their own unique culture, dance, music, dress, food and rituals. Okay, and some of the tribes are Gon, Halwa, Kol and Muria. Okay, now the Deccan Plateau covers the state of Maharashtra, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Telangana, Odisha, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh and Jharkhand. Okay. So students in this video we have covered some of the topic of the chapter the southern plateau right. Like the plateau region. Okay. The two parts of the peninsular plateau that is the central highlands and the Deccan plateau. Right. So students in our next video we will learn regarding some of the states which fall in the Deccan plateau. Okay. So please go through both the videos. Thank you.